Welcome to Rossboro, Rossboro, North Carolina. Big city. Now check this out. From where I'm at right now, I'm probably about 15, maybe 20 miles from Samora. Maybe, how far am I from Oxford? Maybe an hour from Oxford, maybe. I'm guessing off the top of my head. I know I'm not too far. So that's that's the two places I'm gonna be looking to reload out of. Out of either Samora or Oxford. I ain't trying to go to Crystal Hill, Virginia. Hell, yeah, I, I could probably even reload in Roxboro at the, at, uh, at the LP. I gotta make a right turn coming up. My GPS is not telling me the name of the road. All it says is road. That's all it says. to a Talbert Building Supply, 1101 Old Durham Road. I know where Old Durham Road is at. This is uh, this is US 501 that I'm on right now. But if I go back the other way, it takes you straight to Durham. And I've been on Old Durham Road before, it's a two lane road. I actually took that road from there. <laughs> I don't like it. Whenever you take that road, it, it's, it's just further up off uh, 85. Ended up missing my turn, man. Ended up missing my turn. This where it's at. I told you I didn't think it was a real road. Turn left on Old Durham Road, then take the second right. Like I'm gonna have to get out and go for a walk. That's a gate over there. It's a big gate. Yeah, I think we can pull in this gate. Pulling this gate. Gonna drive over here towards the office. Turn right, then take the first left. Yeah, this will work. Hey, so I made it to the right spot. I got to pull up right here in the middle. Yeah, that's the other gate that I could have came in, but I came in that big gate over there. Look at that. 
messed up target. This one messed up too. This tarp ain't worth a damn. Backwoods, North Carolina. My favorite place to be in the backwoods. Hey, guess where we're going? It never fails. I dropped off in Roxburgh. Instead of reloading, 10, 15 miles away in Roxburgh or Samora, or even 50 miles away in Oxford. I go 150 miles to go to Cofield. Never fails. Hey, it's all good though. I like these Cofield loans. They pay good, and I don't even gotta leave the state. I was wondering why I pulled in this gas station. But a duck through. If you ever been to Cofield, you see a lot of trucks. You see a lot of trucks uh, pulling up in here. Most trucks get fuel on this last last pump. But I ain't coming for no fuel. I'm coming for some chicken. Look at that flatbed making that left turn. Beating me down there. Guess what? I'm about to get ready to load a uh, load a board yard. Unless something changes, I'm getting loaded at board. TSH is a slow one. So boy, you know I'm about to be in and out.
right, so now y'all know, if you ever come to Cofield, make a pit stop, give you some fried chicken. Turn right on South Camp Street. Hey, a couple weeks ago, I made a video about how to do an 8 2 split sleeping berth. Or if you've been sitting somewhere for two hours. But I was reading the comments just the other day. And this one guy commented, and he was like, his company, his company requires him to log load and unload time. My company does too. I mean, that's almost every company. Then I saw another guy in the comments that commented back to him. It was like, your company is trying to avoid the lawsuits if something was to happen. Like, say you would have gotten an accident, but you don't have your log, you don't have your time log correctly. Like you didn't log loading or unloading or whatever. So yeah, they could they could argue that in court. And you know, make it make it like, you know. If you never would have been at the place the accident happened, the accident never would have happened. That's the way the lawyers are going to try to fight it. But uh, doing eight two splits, you know, you only do that in certain circumstances. So I just wanted, I want y'all to keep that in mind. You know, don't get yourselves in trouble. I always log load, log, well, always log loading, unloading, fueling. 30 minute break, load checks. It's best to just log every little thing, especially on an electronic log. That you know, there is a record of it that you can't you can't access that record. It's easily accessible for anybody. Look how tight this road is. Gotta hold it on the road coming through here. Look at that dump that dump truck in front of me. Might be too far away from the camera, but I but He's all over the damn road. Got to keep it on the road coming through here. And every time I've came here and been recording, I've never caught an oversized load coming back towards me. But they do come, but it's never like I never, I never caught one on camera. Cause when those oversized loads come through, I got to slow down and damn near get on the shoulder. And his and the oversized they slide over too. Just gotta be real careful. But yeah, but always log you always make sure you log correctly. Those eight two splits, you know, like I said, today it's not gonna be the same as tomorrow. Tomorrow's not gonna be the same as yesterday. Every day is different. So you never know. You never know how the day is gonna go about. Just do the right thing, people. Do the right thing. Like Spike Lee said. To my right, we have an abandoned house. To my left, we have a bunch of pine trees. Pine trees are the official state tree of North Carolina. The official bird of North Carolina is a cardinal. One half mile, turn right official right mammal of North Carolina is, is a squirrel. Hey. Official flower of North Carolina is the dogwood. Hey, I be on, hey man, I'll give y'all a history lesson, man. I be on a field trip. To my right, what we just passed was TSH, Tennessee Steel Hawks. To my right, where we're going now, is Board Brothers Transportation. Turn right on River Road. River Road. Uh oh, I see a bunch of mud out here. Means I might have to put on my boots. Okay, to my right, we have a Boyd Brothers truck. We have a blue truck beside him. Looks like a PNS, a blue PNS truck, an international. Come on, boy, back that thing up so I can make this turn. Man, that boy, he, check out his steps on the passenger side. Look at those steps. So we got a board, a PNS, two more PNSs. 
That's the yard truck. Got a blare. Got a blare over here. Okay. PS in the building. Hey, in case this board driver, in case this, this board driver wanna wanna kick my ass, I got some battle buddies over here. We got we got three PS and one Blair. So the board driver wanna act up. I got some backup. And hey, shout out my dog Mark, man. I don't need no backup for him. Mark Woodruff. I don't need no backup for Mark. I take care of him myself. Deja vu. Deja vu. How many times have I been here? A lot.
How many times have I showed y'all how to do X chains? I want to do a different method today. I want to do the teardrop method. Look at that. You always gotta go back and double check. It's a little off center. That's pretty good. tell y'all where this load was going it's going to charlotte i thought i think i said that but if y'all remember about maybe a month or two ago i delivered to a place in two and three quarter miles where you had to left on farmers chemical i think road. you had yeah you had to get there at like uh you had to be there at midnight they, they received from midnight to 4 a.m That's where this load is going. Turn right on River Road. Right now, I'm about to go through the scale. I'm about to go through the scale, get my paperwork, and go ahead and head towards Charlotte. I got five hours, 47 minutes on my clock. I got four hours, 47 minutes to get there. So I should be there. I can't say what time I'll be there. I ain't gonna be driving straight straight through. I'm gonna stop and take breaks, load checks and all this and that. But I will say I should be there by I should be there by no later than 9 30 tonight. My GPS says 8 40. So I say I say 10 o'clock at the latest. The account for me stopping traffic or whatever. I'm gonna have to go through Raleigh. No later than 10 o'clock, I should be there. All right, gang, that's it for this one. Turn right on Bazemore Road. That's it. See y'all in a little bit. Flatbed gang.